Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting perfume to share. I've partnered with Bulgari to tell you all about their latest fragrance, Fantasia Veneta. This launched as part of the Bulgari Allegra collection. There are five unique fragrances total and they are all incredibly bright and beautiful. I just love to display these bottles. They remind me of an artisanal candy, something really sweet like that. But what makes this entire collection so interesting is that in addition to the five unique perfumes, Bulgari launched five magnifying essences, which work to amplify a singular note. So here I have the magnifying patchouli. This is the magnifying vanilla. I think this one is my favorite. Then we have magnifying rose, magnifying musk, and magnifying bergamot. So I'm gonna take you through each of those in a moment, but I wanna begin by introducing you to the perfume. All five of the perfumes that are part of this Allegra collection can be worn alone, especially Fantasia Veneta, because this perfume is described as an Italian festa in a bottle. It's inspired by the jubilation of an incredible Italian party. Keynotes include red peach, Indonesian patchouli, and vanilla. So it's bright, sweet, kind of fruity right away. And as it dries down, you're left with this spiciness, this hint of warmth, it's really special. Worn Alone Fantasia Veneta is a showstopper fragrance. I'm going to spray it. I love the mister. Mm. It just reminds me of getting really dressed up for a fancy night out on the town. It's so sophisticated. They truly captured the party in a bottle. It's so much fun. I think in 2021, this is the perfume that we all need. Really stunning. For this next part, I'm going to use the blotters and we'll try each of the magnifying essences. As I mentioned before, they're intended to amplify one of the notes that is found in each of the perfumes, and it gives a more personalized experience with the fragrance. So you might just love it on its own, want to wear it by itself, but maybe you have a special occasion and you want to take things up a notch, you can spray one of the magnifying essences to give you a totally different creation. When applying the essence, you want to make sure you spray the perfume first. So I'm going to do two sprays of Fantasia Veneta. <sighs> Heavenly, so beautiful. And then you will magnify with your essence of choice. I'm going to begin with magnifying bergamot. I'm going to do one spritz of the magnifying essence. Wow, completely changes the fragrance. It's very bright, citrusy, kind of sparkling. Really beautiful. Adds a touch of sweet fruitiness. Mm, very fresh. I really like that. If you love a fresh citrus type of fragrance, I think you will love the magnifying bergamot. This essence transforms the perfume into a more daytime appropriate fragrance. Very lively, fun. This could be a daytime date somewhere really special. Perfect for spring, summer. I'm gonna spray the second blotter with the fragrance. Next, let's try the magnifying rose. I think this is going to be one of my favorites. I absolutely love anything with rose in it. One spritz of rose. Let's see. Oh, wow. That is incredible really beautiful. It's a very fresh garden rose. It adds a nice floral component. It doesn't make the fragrance too serious, which I like. It's still very playful and fun, but it adds a touch of class and glamour, that's for sure. Mm. This I could see for day or evening. I think you could wear this just about anywhere. It could be Sunday brunch, but it could also be a dinner date night out. Really beautiful, so feminine and floral. I love that. I love rose, so I knew I was going to like that one. Magnifying essence number three, which one should we try next? I think I'm going to go in with this musk. I'm very curious about this one. So here we have the magnifying musk. One spritz. Another great thing about the magnifying essences is that yes, you can spray once. You could also spray twice. 
You could spray the magnifying essence first and then apply the fragrance if you wanted to. You really can personalize it, make it your own. Whatever you love, that's what you should wear. <laughs> oh, wow. This is really nice. The magnifying musk takes this from an Italian festa to a black tie affair. Really elevates the perfume. I did not expect to love that as much as I do. I knew I would really like it, but wow, that is really blowing my mind. It's stunning. It's kind of light, feminine, so classy. The magnifying musk truly elevates the perfume. And I think this could be worn day or evening as well, but it would have to be a special occasion. This is one that you should save for those really special moments. Beautiful. Prepping my blotter number four with the Fantasia Veneta. The next magnifying essence we're going to try is the magnifying patchouli. Let's see. Oh, wow. I really like this as well. Because patchouli is one of the key notes in Fantasia Veneta, this truly amplifies the fragrance. I don't think it changes it or alters it in quite the same way as the previous magnifying essences we've tried so far. It almost becomes a more unisex perfume. It's very versatile. I know some people love their patchouli, so this is going to be perfect for them. Really interesting. And last but certainly not least, I have the Magnifying Vanilla. And I have worn this before. I already know I love it. It's so beautiful. <sighs> incredible. On its own, Fantasia Veneta is an incredible fragrance. The Magnifying Vanilla on its own is really beautiful, but when the two combine, it's really something special. It's not a very sweet candy vanilla. It doesn't smell artificial whatsoever. It's a very elegant, sophisticated vanilla. So when you use the vanilla magnifying essence to amplify Fantasia Veneta, the combination is incredibly sensual and sexy, perfect for a date night, a night out on the town. But it's not too heavy either. It's just so feminine. It's really more of an earthy vanilla. It doesn't add a lot of creaminess or that baked good type of scent to the fragrance. But it's just so beautiful. I think if I had to choose a favorite, it would probably be the Magnifying Vanilla. Although I do love the Magnifying Rose and the Musk and the bergamot and the patchouli, they're all really special. But I think you can kind of see how each of these magnifying essences would be perfect for a specific occasion or a specific type of date. I've been wearing this perfume alone for the past couple of days because I wanted to test it out and see how it would wear. And I must say, I'm incredibly impressed. It's never overpowering, but it does last for several hours it's not too sweet, it's not too floral, and yet it is incredibly feminine and a bit flirty. It has this spiciness to it. It's a very romantic perfume. It reminds me of going out, summer nights, hot, sweaty, dressed up, something really glamorous and fabulous, kind of dancing the night away. That is kind of the setting that comes to mind whenever I smell this perfume. It's the perfect Miami evening out fragrance, really. Just so you know, the perfume Fantasia Veneta and the five magnifying essences, they are all considered to be an eau de parfum concentration. But I will say that whenever I spray Fantasia Veneta, I feel like I am truly getting an eau de parfum. It's a little bit bright and bold right away, and as it dries down, it's not overpowering, but it is definitely there. Whereas the magnifying essences seem to be a bit lighter. They're not going to overtake your perfume. It's not like it completely changes it and this is going to disappear and all you're going to get is intense vanilla or intense musk. They harmonize really nicely on the skin and they dry down together 
and they work really nicely together because all of these notes can be found in all of the fragrances in the collection. So there's, n there's no way you can go wrong. You can't make a mistake. There is no bad combination. And for size reference, the Fantasia Veneta bottle is a traditional 3.4 ounce and the Magnifying Essence is a 1.35 fluid ounce bottle. When applying the fragrance, if you tried to do a one-to-one -one ratio, you would run out of the magnifying essence a lot faster. So that's why I like to do two spritzes of the perfume, one of the essence. And you can also kind of rotate your essences. If there are two or three that you really love, you could pick up multiple essences to go with your one perfume or multiple perfumes to go with your one essence. It's really all about the personalization. That's what makes this collection so unique. I think if you like something a little bit spicy, not too spicy, kind of flirty and seductive, you will really like this particular perfume in the collection. Now I'm excited to try the entire Allegra collection from Bulgari because they all sound amazing and they are all already available. I will of course leave a link down in the description box. You can check them out, read about them, see which one sounds like your favorite, but I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Let me know which of the magnifying essences you would add to the perfume. And that completes today's fragrance review. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.